In this demonstration, we're going to show you how the EMIS integration works as well as the toolbar application Footfall Connect. We'll start by explaining Footfall Connect. This is a new application feature that can be used alongside the Footfall dashboard to perform tasks such as sending a patient a message through SMS or email, initiating a video consultation, and viewing a patient's Footfall request from a toolbar without having to open the dashboard something that might be particularly useful to clinical staff who prefer to work from the clinical system rather than the dashboard. You do not need to use Footfall Connect to be able to export episodes from Footfall into the clinical system. It's an additional feature available with version 6 that can be used alongside the dashboard to perform popular tasks. To access the toolbar, you will have an application downloaded to your desktop which can be accessed through this desktop shortcut. For the application to work, you must have EMIS open. When you first open Footfall Connect, you will be asked to log in using your Footfall dashboard username and password. This is the only time you will need to log into Footfall Connect unless you choose to log out of the application. The application will collect the organisation code from EMIS and match with your Footfall dashboard. You should see the name of your practice, your practice website address and the ODS code here on the login screen. Once you log in, you will see the Footfall Connect floating toolbar appear and this can be moved around your screen to your desired position. When you have an active patient open in EMIS, you can choose to view a list of the active patient's footfall requests, send the patient a message by SMS or email and start or book a video consultation. If you select the three dots, this will change your options to log out of Footfall Connect or exit. Logging out will require you to log back in using your username and password again, but by just choosing exit, you avoid the need to do this when the application is opened again. We'll have a look at how this works in more detail later. For now, let's look at what has changed on the dashboard with the integration and how you can export a patient episode from the dashboard into the clinical system. If you want to work on the dashboard, you can open your dashboard in the usual way, whether or not you're using the Footfall Connect application. Here we have a patient who has submitted a contraceptive pill review. In order for the dashboard to be able to connect with EMIS and for the clinical system integration to work, it's important that the patient has been verified and that their NHS number is present. If this is not the case, this can be manually added just by clicking on the pencil icon. You can see we have a new option here to swap patient. Selecting this will swap the current active patient in EMIS to the patient that we have here in Footfall. If I select this and then open EMIS, you'll see that the active patient's details change and we're also given a notification at the top here to tell us that the patient has been successfully swapped. This gives you a quick way of accessing a patient on EMIS if you're reviewing a request on the dashboard. Now let's look at how we can export this episode into the clinical system. So I select EMIS at the top and here we're given a breakdown of information that will be exported into EMIS. This will include any clinical coding relating to the form that the patient has submitted, the patient's selections and text responses, and if the patient has included any images with their form or if there are any internal notes, these will be attached down the bottom here too. You can select what information you want to be exported into the clinical system by using the toggle buttons. You can also edit the text fields, add text or remove text that may not be important to the episode. In this case, I'm removing the options the patient did not select on the form. This helps to ensure that the clinical system is not overloaded with information. Once you're ready to export the episode, select send to EMIS. You'll see a notification appear at the top. And if we open EMIS and go into the patient's consultations, you'll see the episode has been successfully exported to the patient's record. Another option that's available to you as part of the integration is show current patient. Selecting this will connect to EMIS and retrieve the footfall request relating to the active patient in EMIS. We have Rose Harper open in EMIS, 
and if I select show current patient, it will show us all of the footfall requests submitted by the patient on the dashboard. You'll also see at the top here, you have the option to send the patient a message by either text, email or both. And this is a feature that is available through the reply feature on the dashboard too. Now let's go back to the toolbar and how this can be used whilst working in EMIS. The toolbar is separate to the integration and is a helpful tool designed for those users who like to work from the clinical system. You can see our current active patient is still Rose Harper. Let's say I want to have a look at Rose's recent footfall requests. I select recent requests and was shown a list of footfall requests that relate to Rose. By selecting one of these episodes, it launches the dashboard so that you're able to review the episode. Send message gives you the option to send the patient a message either by email or SMS and underneath you have some options. You can copy the message to email so that it's recorded in the clinical system. You can also see that there are the same reply options as you have on the dashboard. Allow a patient to reply, allow a patient to send files and require patient reply. And you can add an alert to it too. Sending a patient a message in this way will create a closed request on the dashboard. Once or if the patient replies to the request, it will come in as a new reply. Then you have the option to start or book a video consultation. Again, you can send the link to join the meeting to the patient either via text or email. And if we select start, this takes you straight into the consultation to wait for the patient. Like the dashboard, you have space on the right hand side to type notes and the end consultation button at the top. You'll be asked for the appointment outcome and you have the option here to save the notes from your consultation to the episode. These consultations are recorded on the dashboard as a closed video consultation request. That concludes this short demonstration of the clinical system integration with EMIS and the Footfall Connect application. Thank you for watching.